feels a little stiff, but that's okay. Oh, how do you like that? And inner boot just popped right off. One more problem. So we're gonna need to tie this up and out of the way. I have a funny feeling right here is probably gonna be the best bet because tie it off over this way it's just gonna keep popping the boot I don't feel like popping it out of the transmission so let's get a couple of black zip ties and we'll just wrap this up right up here real tight give myself a room to get to this ball joint I hope case we're going to uh, make one that's a little bit longer now what we want to try to do is get this up here, it probably won't work. Nope. Yeah, so we're just gonna tighten that right there. I'm gonna look like that'll stay. Alright, where's that chisel? Smack that off. See clip a couple of times. Now let's try to get the sir clip to move. Okay, cool. Turn it. Hey, we've got a space on the back side of this. Like that. There's no snap ring or pliers required. There's a snap ring. It <laughs> didn't even damage it. Alrighty. And this is our ball joint. Wow. Okay, that's that's pretty loose. Let's get some penetrating oil on this, let it soak for a few minutes. There should have been a... Looks like almost like a hole for a Zerg fitting. Let that soak in for a few minutes. Be a great time for a cigarette, but I quit back in December. Still haven't cheated, still haven't had a cigarette, so. But I'll tell you, if cars, good thing I don't drink. Because then I wouldn't be able to stay away from the cigarettes. But cars, you get frustrated, you just, if you're a smoker or have been a smoker, you get doing this stuff, you just kind of need that little pacifier <laughs> while you're dealing with this annoyance. C-press, now we need to find cup receiver. That's good enough right there. All right, now that we've got the cup, <coughs> which is going to go on the bottom, over the ball joint. Oh, that's going to be fun. Yeah, 
that does not clear the lip of the ball joint. That isn't going to work. That's definitely not going to work. And this one's way too big. Even if I go on the outside of these ears, it's still way too big. And right there, and that edge is a gamble I'm not going to take. Oh, man. Almost. So I'm going to go see him on my other kits. If I've got a uh, spacer that will fit this, see which kit I gotta go find. Alright, so the verdict has become remove the axle. I've already tapped it out of the transmission. This boot right here is uh, not really any good. Probably because the clamp that's on it probably wasn't put on correctly. Let's set that out of the way. Now we got a clean open shot at this ball joint. Not sure how I'm going to get this out yet because none of my adapters are fitting it. Now this isn't exactly my idea of fun, but. Now it's straight down, seems to be doing the job. Now, it might not slip off of it. Now we might be able to finish off with the seat press. Wish I could find something to jam in the other side. All oh, this junk. And I got nothing that'll work. They keep crushing this bottom. Starting to bend out again. We're going little by little. Be nice if I could just press it all straight out, but these adapters just don't fit right. Little by little. And it's bending right out again. Take it back off, straighten out the adapter again. But we're getting down there. Ugh. Mangled. Again. I need an anvil. I need a garage. All right, 
Let's try again. Now it looks like it's getting easier. Still crushing. Or are we actually moving? I don't know. Thinking again. Wow. Mush. And we are almost out. ball joint out that was a deep ball joint nope. right. clean enough to just press the new one right in Got the new ball joint, 90 degree grease zerk, and a new snap ring. Now, let's see. And the looks of it, we've got some kind of a uh, pressed on boot. Let's see what we can find that'll fit this without damaging it. That's too big. That one's definitely too small. That one's too small. That one might fit. This one doesn't quite clear the seal. That one almost clears the seal. That's too big. Well, it looks like this one here, even though it's not the right one, is going to be our best bet. The only drawback is, is this one's set up for. I can't win. This one is set up to go on the bottom. And 
don't think I can do that. And it looks like it's going to rain soon. Good grief. Alright. Got to get this shit done. No special markings for direction. thing I got <laughs> Wow Chevy Trailblazer pain in the butt See, this is just nuts. That doesn't work. I can't even clear that. <laughs> oh. What to do? Something just let go. Now, yeah, the sleeve started going up around the ball joint. Now we've got the almost all the way up. Slightly oval this thing.
Nothing fits over the freaking boot. Nothing fits under the never fit right. Okay, more customizing tools. That's a customized tool. That will work. Everything perfectly centered. And to turn this so you guys can see what's going on here. You see how I got my edges? Now I can drive this thing home. And that's got it seated all the way in. Get that snap ring on. And there's your snap ring in. And where's the chisel? Just to double check. doesn't move at all so it's in it's seated let's get the zerk on it that's not gonna make a lot of sense but millimeter spin this all the way around so that you can actually get at it huh. smaller than 10 millimeter purpose tool. 
grab the hex, not the uh, fitting. Screwdriver through the wrench and just twist. Now we want to make sure that we've got this where somebody will be able to get at it. We'll face it straight forward. That way, there they can turn the wheel to get at it. And now we'll get that uh, upper ball joint taken care of.